win was much harder to come by, y'all. One in seven going into week nine. Not 100% sure what they've done since. As it is, though, let's get on in to this one. Buddy Bowler, the rest of the North Dakota Wolves on the left side in the green. Alrighty, and so just starting off like it was just a kind of a quick kick out, but there's a shot on goal. It looks like Madison's just going to try to get back and get to this goal, but they have only two defenders back trying to hold this off, and all three members from North uh, Fairfield seem to be just right in line. Yeah, they've been doing a fantastic job of that one so far. Zoom Gamer down lower, and that blow's not going to go in. Elysium here, throwing Epic on top of that save. As Scout tries to make a hand at this one, Defender barely gets there. Matter getting a hand on this one, and we got this one firing off on all cylinders already, Will. But they got the clear with three members back towards the gates here. <laughs> There's another shot just offside. But, like, Meta had to go all the way back just to get that goal. And so, luckily, they're still in the game here. It's still tied up 0-0 with four minutes to go. Only one minute of Rack League, but one minute could be an eternity, Tuckbug. Yeah, only one minute in. So, right now, plenty of time left on this. Buddy Bowler, a little flip play there towards the beginning. Scout keeping the offensive pressure on. And not one, but two defenders in the backfield. Will can't get to that one. Fairfield strikes first, a 1-0 scoreline. I mean, is Scout, so I, I am familiar more with, with Scout and his, his antics on, in this, this field, so I'm not surprised that he got the rebound and, and, the, and the goal here, but, mm -hmm. you know, they're up 1-0, and again, it, it's an eternity in Rocket League time, so we'll see if the, you know, North Carolina can keep up. Yeah, plenty of time left in this one, just in case you are new, of course, this is a best of five, dear viewer, in case you just tuned in with us recently. There's a best of five, so this first game will be a little bit of a litmus test, a little bit of a back and forth, a little bit of, hey, it doesn't really matter. What's the difference between a 3-0 and a 3-1? 3-2, obviously, I think, far, far closer. UH Lur, Aller, Aller. Oh, I get it, I get it. Aller over here for the side of North Dakota. <laughs> Showing some fancy footwork on the left side. Not going to be enough to get this one in and closer until something else happens. Tries to get up to it at 10 boos, 12 boos, something like that in the tank. And that is never going to happen. Uh, not at all. But, I mean, again, Fieldfield is keeping it, keeping the attack and the pressure on. There's another setup and a rebound goal. And there it goes. But Matter is going to get the second goal on the board. It's just an awesome play coming in from Scott to set him up for that. Three minutes left at this one. A lot to be said for... Reliability, right? That's Fairfield striking just around 60 seconds into the first one. And then second, just at the second minute right there. Will we see a 5-0 for Fairfield? One score on every single uh, double zero up top? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, it, 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 you know, we can establish a pattern here in the EGF. But, you know, North Dakota is going to try to uh, return the favor here, get some more uh, more offense going. I mean, it's, it's not that they're not doing well or they're, they're not keeping up with Fearfield, it's just like, like Scout is just using his like amazing skills just to get you know these kind of weird goals. And there comes a demo coming in as well. He's gonna get there, shot on goal, and no, uh, it's gonna go wide. Yeah, no harm, no foul on that one. Unless you're talking offensive wise, of course, just to pass half time. Pop back out to this bottom area, Matter popping this one up. Other able to answer that one. Bodhi Buller there across the middle, and I gotta say, North Dakota might bite me in a second, but North Dakota playing a pretty solid defense as opposed to this first two minutes or so, Will English. Yeah, it's it's not a dominance coming in from Fairfield. It's it's just, you know, North Dakota is keeping up. They're keeping their defense up, but just they just need to get some shots on goal here. And, like, Scout's just all alone right here. He's going to go 1-1, one, one, and it loses the 50-50. It goes the other way. Uh, now it goes the shot. The other goes the other way. Nicely done. Didn't quite happen. On the third minute right there, Will English, but, you know, we'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Fairfield continuing to be very reliable, very consistent in their shot scoring capabilities. Yeah, I mean, like, three, three to zero right now. So now if you're, if you're North Dakota, you're, you're sweating just a little bit. Not by much, but you're sweating a little bit here. Because, again, it's just a, 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 there we go. Right as I say that, here's the return favor. Now the first goal comes on the board from Miller. There you go. They're striking back here. So really making this one a game. They're going to score again at the two-minute mark, or the one-minute mark, excuse me, Will. Then uh, that'll push this to a little bit more of that same gap, but as it is, two scores is really doable on either side. About 100 seconds left at this one as Buddy Bowler takes it to the outside. A huge whiff on that one. Scout almost gets a stubble tap on that one as well as, remember, Elysium was right there to back him up. Alert across the middle. That's going to be Elysium mostly getting a hand on that one, but it's just a little bit too high. And just like that, North Dakota comes rolling on out on the offense. Absolutely. And so a minute 22 on the clock here. We're looking to see if North Dakota can at least get, get within striking distance of 
this 3-1 lead. But if they don't, I mean, like, again, it's, it's still an attorney. There is another shot, and Scout, once again, is right there, ready to go. And he's just going to get more defense coming in from North Dakota. They keep clearing it out, but just, like, they just need to convert it into a goal. A minute on the clock, it's not looking too good right now, but, you know, anything can happen in Rocket League. This is fair. Fairfield knows that they're going to be able to just play the clock here in a little bit. The Zoom Gamer now will pop out, but this is uh, North Dakota that's got to really get on the offense, make something happen this last 45 seconds or so. Elysium and the rest of Fairfield can really just play this one down, or they can go ahead and score. Coming away from their consistent one goal per minute ratio at 41 seconds now, but Fairfield still pushing that lead to three. That's a dangerous lead indeed. 41 yeah. seconds ago, Will English. Okay, three, three goals, 40 seconds, and not a lot of action going on. You know, not a lot of goal scoring in this game to begin with. And so I don't want to see it as the nail in the coffin just yet, Tuck Boat. But, you know, it's getting close to, to that kind of, kind of that time. 35 seconds off the clock, and it's still not, like, North Dakota really doesn't have an answer here. They're not responding with the attack that they need to to shut this this, this uh, Fairfield offense down. Mm -hmm. And so excellent defense. They, they kept it at bay. This wasn't a runaway game, but it's definitely something North Dakota's going to have to think about to go into game two. Yeah, not a runaway game by any means, but scoreline of this, especially at 15 seconds, one goal per five seconds or so, average right there, simply not going to happen. Might not end at 4-1, but it is going to end with Fairfield up in game numero uno, and that's going to be a solid little lead and a foot forward for the Fairfield University squad. 4-1 is where it ends, no volleyball situation, no half overtime there at the end, Will English. Yeah, not at all, and so... You know, once again, you just look. You're, all you're looking for is is you, you have to. You just have to keep keep that that buffer. That buffer of a couple of goals will keep you safe in this game. And absolutely, looking at Fairfield's just offense is just just we're unrelenting. And Scout's just like putting a goal. So so again, sometimes it's not. It's not winning the game, right? Like sometimes, like you know, win, winning you, you or you win by offense, you lose by defense, as it were. But like North Dakota, I mean, like, uh, amazing defense. They can keep up with Fairfield. I just think someone needs to come in the offense and not put all three members back, not just like depend depend on your defense to win the game. It's actually offense is going to win the game. You need to get you actually get scores. Yeah, it's kind of like I guess maybe the difference between uh, proactive, reactive. There, right? You you consistently play a reactive Rocket League here give up opportunities offensive-wise to your opponents. Eventually, one of these is going to rattle those nets and make it all the way in there, and that scores on boards. If you never get on offense, never really get an opportunity to yeah. score it yourself, and that's just that's just math at that point, Will English. Yeah, I mean, you know, every, sh you know, every shot missed opportunity, you know, all, all the uh, the adages, the rocky uh, montages, the whole nine yards. So here yeah. we go in game two, and, and the kickoff was going the way of North Dakota. They, they just didn't follow up once again. It's just like they had a shot in goal, but it just was rolling towards the net. And Fairfield just let it go. And now we're, we'll see if Fairfield can go back to this attack. They're right in front of the goal. And North Dakota, once again, just two members back trying to keep this going here. But then another shot comes in as well. It's just off sides. A little bit left of the goal. It's still not looking out for, for North Dakota. But look, there's an attack coming in from North Dakota now. Yeah, it's going to be back to the middle right here for a brief second until Zoon Gamer fires one across the bow. Other able to pick it up. But that one's just going a little bit too fast. He had to burn everything boost-wise just to get there. Now some fancy footwork keeps this ball over on Fairfield's defensive third right now. Allure back to it. Allure has had a huge play right here. Elysium now with some fancy footwork of their own. Gets past two and then pays with it. To the life right there. One minute into this one. And this is a North Dakota squad that is playing markedly different. Matter putting this one up. That's too high. That's too far outside. And Zoom Gamer and the rest of North Dakota... Gonna be very, very happy that they were able to get defensive hands onto this one. Allure doubled up and out on the middle. Little bounce action against the wall now again. That's pretty decently centered. Allure comes up and Allure and Zoom Gamer both play the ball and not the defender. That that was uh that was a true strike right there. That was a good angle. Just like that, Elysium and the rest of their field are able to wrap this one around, rotate appropriately, pick up boosts on the way, and rocket this one in. 90 seconds for the first goal. Uh, just an unlucky bounce on this last defender. He was actually right in front of the, front of the ball before it went to the net, and he just got that lucky bounce in the upper right-hand corner. It's now Fairfield is up 1-0. We are seeing a little bit of a different, uh, I would say desperation just the time for North Dakota, but they're definitely trying to be a little bit more aggressive here. And it was rewarded. They were they had some more shots of goal than, than they did previously, but now you know they're looking, staring at this 1-0 lead. It's a little bit tighter of a game, but we'll see how Fairfield can respond to this. 
Bounce play. Response so far, Will English is some pretty solid defense. That was a double up down bottom, but Elysium back to this left corner. He, he just lives along these outside lines right here, right? On the wall, on the ground, doesn't really matter. Elysium has really, really shown off what he can do so far for the Stags here at Fairfield University. As far as taking this ball out and just, uh, not, not just getting handed on it, but then playing it and turning it into something offensively. Elysium out, and that's gonna be a pass to Scout. Scout puts this out and in. Second score on board here for Fairfield University with about half time left. And that was just a rebound play taking advantage of by Scout. And just he was right there to pick it up, put it right into the goal. There was no one there from North Dakota, even though they were playing just awesome defense so far. And they're just slipping a little bit here, but they're down two goals and they just need a little bit of momentum here coming on the other side. It's two minutes and 45 seconds off the clock to see if they can get just get, put a goal on the board and then use that momentum to try to finish your fit off. Yeah, this is. Um a better look defensively for North Dakota this game, but st I mean, the simple fact is that uh, they, you know they had a lot of a lot better offensive opportunities in the last game as well. I don't know. We'll see how that continues on. Buddy Bowler taking this one from the roof and down. Hit play over. Allure with perfect control on this one sends it super high. Defenders force a stop. A flip up to it. Really, really burn a lot to get to that one. Elysium back on over to this outside is. North Dakota on the defense for right now. Back to the middle. Matter tries to keep it over. Buddy Buller has something else to say about this one. Scout with a round round. Nice pass play up. This is maybe a pass back. Shot up and it's going to be Elysium on the, what, fourth shot for Fairfield in about as many seconds. Yeah, just about. And so Elysium is going to okay, get this set up here. Gets the rebound. Puts it right into the open net. And now... Fairfield's looking at the same scoreline that they were in game one, where now they're up by three goals, and North Dakota needs to, like has no answers. They were, they were, they were, there's some signs of life in the, in the early game, but as time goes on, just Fairfield just like gotten back in the group here, and they're just like, <laughs> look at this. He just, like, I love that matter. was just like, nope, I'm just gonna, just gonna stop right here and fake you out a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit of soccer action in here. And so now, actually, they're still on the other side, they're still attacking his net here, and Let's see if North Dakota can clear this out, and they do, and now gonna go back towards the middle, and now it's time for Tugboat to, to, to determine whether or not can North Dakota come back from this. At three scores, they've only seen one of them so far in the first game there, and now we're about three and a half minutes into this without another one from North Dakota. I'm gonna say it's unlikely. If I were a betting man, Will English, if I were a betting man. 85 seconds left or so up top, matter back to the middle, and Elysium and the rest of Fairfield has done a fantastic job of simply biting into this clock. It is lunchtime, I suppose, here on the West Coast. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Anyway, a minute left of the clock here. It's still 3-0, and, and again, it, most of the time the ball has stayed on the, the, the North Coast side of the net here. They're just trying to just keep Fairfield out, make it, keep it at 3-0, maybe keep their momentum and their mental game into game three. But it's just this relentless assault coming for Skies, looking for opportunities, and now all three members of the soul. This is desperation attack because all three members of North Dakota are back here. But they leave the, the goal open just for a second. <laughs> oh my god, it, it almost went to the open net, but just like North Dakota gets back just in time, they just had enough loose to get back, and it doesn't work out so well. Yeah, this is North Dakota that's kind of been caught lacking on defense a couple times. Uh, you know, right now that makes sense for everything to an offense, but uh, this has really been going on since about halftime. Matter's always going to be back for Fairfield. This is the kind of plays that uh, a team that's playing ahead can actually, like, you know, these are almost like reverse roles, right? This is North Dakota coming into the last, you know, 120 seconds. Now with the shift in attention when it comes to, a, uh, when it comes to offense, and then it just doesn't really come out until the last 30. And again, with a score difference of three. This is not technically done yet. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. It is technically done now. Fairfield University, no. game number two. Same score difference, different score totals. It was 4-1 yeah. for Fairfield University in game one. Now 3-0 for Fairfield University in game two. Yep, and Holy so, moly. I, I, I mean, it's it's just unfortunate. It really is because, like, again, you saw some signs of life in North Dakota. They were trying to switch over to the you know the same rock solid defense that they had. You want that same rock solid offense, and they were they were putting the screws of, to Fairfield. But then after about that three and a half minute mark, after that first goal from Scout, that was that was it. That was that was, that was like the goal button for Fairfield. They just said, nope, we're just gonna just gonna keep the pressure on and keep it moving here. So now they're up to zero. And now if you're North Dakota, you gotta focus on the mental just a little bit here because like you're, you you gotta reverse sweep this out. And, and both the first two games were not very promising as far as like you know kind of the mental states. So now can you recover? Can you we pull off the reverse sweep. We have seen it before in EGF. It's not. It's not impossible. It's just you need to believe. 
just need to believe. Do you believe in miracles? I actually watched that movie for the first time recently in English. It was, uh, it was an awesome experience. Elysium, back on over to the middle. Four minutes, 45 seconds left. Scout, hot play on out to the left side. Some uh, stat action coming out for you guys, people. This was Fairfield with 14 total shots, four, six, and four. Uh, in game number two, North Dakota had put up four total between the three players, meaning any player on Fairfield put up just as many shot attempts there. If you need math to tell you just how much Fairfield is playing in the offense last game, and there it is for you. Ooh, yeah. once again, and Elysium almost got a, like a complete free real estate shot on this one, Will English. Yeah, they just keep setting it up, and like, I mean, like, it's so lucky that North Dakota can get back in time. But I imagine if they made one mistake here, you know, Fairfield is going to get in front of it and take advantage of that mistake. Uh, but still, I mean, I, I just wish that North Dakota would not play three back all the time. It's just like they need somebody up front to catch these rebounds and do a bounce them off. But here's a shot on goal, Ooh. and it gets just, it was just blocked towards the middle. You need it a little bit higher just to get that out. But, you know, scouts there to, to, to defend their turf, and they're just going to go the other way. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, this is uh, this game so far, and definitely parts of game number two. Nicely done, matter with the real rattle play up front. A little bit of ping pong action back and forth. And this is uh, kind of leading into what I was saying. This, I really do feel like this has just been like a battle of inches, just like who is, you know, almost like frame perfect data, right? Yeah. Uh, who has gotten there first? You know, what what would be the difference if one player had gotten there? You know half a second, quarter of a second, third of a second earlier, things like this, right? Right. Uh, okay, that is not the case right there. Matter got that one all day long with a bag of chips in his pocket. I mean, that. I, I think that is the, that is North Dakota's Colors Mental going down the drain here. To just a quick, like, what was that, like 12 seconds? Yeah, just like it was a kick. It wasn't even a kickoff goal. It was just goes back the other way. But like, as you mentioned, it's like there were two defenders on that first goal for North Dakota right in front, and just the unlucky bounce just didn't work out. And here's the other way. They were trying to just do the same confusion. It didn't work out. At least it was here to pick that up. But I was just saying, like, North Dakota, they they had the right idea. They had two two players back. It's just the wrong bounce. Goes the, goes the way of uh, Fairfield. Now they're up 2-0 now after that quick goal for 12 seconds. And North Dakota, he's is, is, is got to reach a little bit here. Got to dig deep to get to get to pull this out. Got to dig deep. Uh, situation we're in right now. North Dakota down 2-0 in the series on match point. Three minutes left, so more than half time left, but down by two. One score you can find in your pocket like Lynn. Two scores, it's much, much harder. Just like that, Scout really getting some reconnaissance and aggressive, aggressive action done. Scout bounce play back towards the middle, but once again, North Dakota doubles up on the defense. Simply don't need this, and Buddy Bowler could have used a teammate to pass that offensive ball to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the third here for two for uh, Fairfield University at two minutes 45 seconds. Wait, it doesn't matter, but it does matter for matter on on Whoa. Fairfield. That's Ooh, meta. It gets it. Yeah, it is extremely meta. It gets a sec. I believe that's the second goal so far, and now 3-0. That's a very similar scoreline, but we're at two minutes and 45 seconds last this time, as opposed to being earlier in the match. And so again, North Dakota's got got to dig deep. I mean, you you don't want to go out with just one goal in, in uh, an entire match here, but. You know, again, with this relentless pressure coming in from Fairfield, it's, it seems pretty difficult. But North Dakota, like, I would not discount their effort in this match whatsoever. I mean, their defense is, is quite solid, and they've, they've, they've kept it kind of in, in their hands and in control. But just, like, they need the offense, and it's, you know, Fairfield is, is getting back in time. But it's just another shot. So another opportunity missed, and Matters right in front of it. He's trying to take it right all the way back to the other side. Oh, some fancy footwork and broken ankles on the pitch. Matter comes in, fourth shot attempt, fourth goal in. You broached the subject earlier, Will English. This is matter with a hat trick, now hat trick plus one. Four shots in, four goals in, 100% completion ratio on that. Teammate with two assists as well, but uh, I gotta say the two that he walked in himself were incredibly impressive. Yeah, absolutely, and another shot, <laughs> look, 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 look at this. I don't know whether it's Man. just it's just like Fairfield lighting off the gas or North Dakota just getting these lucky bounces, but they've, they've got these couple of kicks off that, that seem to be going to an open net, and then yet, yeah, here's another goal, and now, I, I mean, it's 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 a bit of a runaway at this point. I mean, now now Scout's just getting in the action. He's like, no matter, you can't take all the goals. I'm just going to get one as well. I'm, I'm a pretty good Rocket League player. It's shifted to the open net, and so now it's 5-0. I mean, this is a runaway. This is total domination coming in from Fairfield, and it's looking like, you know, like another another day in the EGF where we get to we get <laughs> life lopsided games here with this 5-0 score lead for, for Fairfield. Perhaps a tad harsh, but 100% true. There's another 3-0 coming on in here against University. 
North Dakota. They have okay. Well, they they never mind. They just scored. Uh, they just scored their first since game one. I was about to say, you know, not showing really anything since uh, since game one. Maybe it's not too harsh, right? We're going a oh. full seven eight minutes now. No scores on boards, but just like that, North Dakota shows that there's a little bit of life left in this corpse. I mean, we, we we needed that we needed that offense about two and a half minutes ago here, but either way, five one, you can go go with your, your pride intact. You at least got one goal off of this massive fair field squad. Let's see if we get a second one on deck. Or no, not 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 right at the moment. There's still all three back and just uh, just all you know they, they catch this rebound and it's gonna get set it up again and he just gets knocked out of the way and 50 50 goes the other way. The demo also right in front. It's now we're going the other way. Let's see if we can get another dirt color goal. Can we get two on the board? See that that I mean that like you really really said it best. Two and a half minutes ago, this would have been a fantastic play. You know, three scores down, make this a two one score line or something like this coming into the last sixty. As it is, this may just be, I mean, it's fancy, and I like what I'm seeing. Oh, another fantastic shot. Scout just barely able to get there. Zoom Gamer on the offense. But then that's another example here of Fairfield kind of winning the demo battle. I think that's the fourth or so in about as many minutes. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. With, with, with 45 seconds on the clock, I mean, this is, I don't want to say it's done dusted just yet. I mean, you can score four, go four goals in 30 seconds. I've seen it before. But, you know, as, you, as, as the Tuckboat would say, it's highly unlikely but we're, you know, again, you're not going down with your ship. You have your pride intact. You played defense. You played well. It's just the, the Fairfield's just a little bit stronger today, and we'll just see. You know, it's going to be a 3-0 victory for them. They're going to move on into week four. But North Dakota, I mean, like again, like shoutouts for them just like like playing playing to the end. You know, no one's letting off the gas here just just yet. They're just just playing until the end of the match and keeping mm. keeping the game going. Yeah, uh, that's even like you know, still continuing on right here. So I'm with it. North Dakota, are going to be coming into the next, uh, what they get instead of be week 12 next week, looking for their multiple win record in the EGF season. That's a goal to go, not quite. Fairfield University ending game three, a 5-1 to scoreline on this one. A solid, uh, solid effort it was. But not going to yeah. be enough here with the double defense down bottom. I, I gotta say that that might be the best news, really. That I think uh, the clearest mistake that North Dakota was consistently making was like a doubled up or even tripled up defense. And at that point, it was just about Fairfield just like rattling up a bunch of shots back to back, and not everybody can get there every single time. Especially once yeah. once you're talking about three and full rotations requested from every single player on a team. Um, also, we are not going to do an interview. I believe we are right on time now. It's about 6 o'clock Eastern Standard. So unless you have something else for the good people with English, let's go ahead and get set up, go to a short break, and then uh, go to the next game on, right? Do you have anything else? Uh, I, I've, I've got nothing else, man. You, you, you do your thing. There you go. There you go. We'll be back with you guys in just a little bit more hot and spicy Rocket League action for you in just a few minutes.
You sure do like to show your opinions, talking big like somebody's listening. Nobody's listening. It's so fun in games and till it doesn't toss me out. I'll hit the ignition. Now you listen. Hop up, up up in the window. Smile or you smile or you fade out. slow. 